so in this lecture we are going to study about generation of points on an ellipse or an elliptical arc so before we go to the problems we will study the iterative technique so we all know that the general form of ellipse which is with center origin is given by x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1 so this is the analytical equation of ellipse correct now what are the parametric equations we know that in parametric equations of ellipse are given by x comma y is a cos theta and b sin theta where what is the value of theta when i'm drawing the ellipse it is 0 to pi 2 pi sorry so theta varies from 0 to 2 pi okay what, are, what is this point this point is a0 this point is minus a0 these are called semi major and semi minor axis this is 0 b and this is 0 minus p so these are the four points on the ellipse okay now what we have to do is we have to generate n equispaced points on ellipse so if i draw an ellipse so let me write here iterative technique okay i'm moving to the iterative technique so let me draw this ellipse So this is the first point I consider and so on. I will consider this is the second point and I have to generate such endpoints. This point I'm calling the ith point, which is given by xi yi. The next point is pi plus one, which is xi plus one, yi plus one. Okay, let me zoom it here. So here this point is given by what this angle that I'm having this angle is theta i and this angle that I'm having here is theta i plus one. What is the difference between the two angles the difference between two angles is delta theta. What is x i y i it is a cos theta i and this is p sine theta i similarly here i have a cos theta i plus 1 b sine theta i plus 1 okay so let us write it here so what is the relation between theta i and theta i plus 1 it is including delta theta so here delta theta is nothing but theta i plus 1 minus theta i and therefore I get the relation that theta i plus 1 is equal to theta i plus delta theta correct therefore what will be the point x i plus 1 y i plus 1 so x i plus 1 y i plus 1 will be equal to a cos see the figure a cos theta i plus 1 comma b sine theta i plus 1 but what is theta i plus 1 we just now derived what is theta i plus 1 theta i plus 1 is this so this is a cos theta i plus delta theta comma b sine theta i plus delta theta which is equal to let me expand it now which is a cos theta cos delta theta minus a sin theta i sin delta theta comma second coordinate is b sin theta i cos delta theta 
plus b cos theta i sin delta theta right which is equal to now what is a cos theta i a cos theta i we have written here and what is b sin theta i we have written here a cos theta i will be replaced by xi so here we will get a cos theta i is nothing but xi cos delta theta minus okay here i will adjust a b here so let me remove this a here let me write a upon b and put a b here so that this b sin theta i will become yi so my a minus a upon b yi sin delta theta the second coordinate the second coordinate of b sin delta theta is already given by what yi cos delta theta plus again i have to adjust your a so b upon a and i'll adjust a here so that this a cos theta i becomes what xi sin delta theta right and who is this this is nothing but xi plus 1 yi plus 1 so we can now put this in the form of a matrix saying that xi plus 1 yi plus 1 comes out to be matrix xi yi multiplied by the 2 by 2 matrix so it is xi cos delta theta and minus a upon b yi sine delta theta the second column will be xi xi is here xi b upon a sine delta theta i'm multiplying this and this okay sine delta theta and what and then yi cos delta theta so here i will just have this and this so i'll just have cos delta theta so this matrix is the matrix which we will henceforward denote by matrix a so this is xi yi into matrix a this is the point pi plus 1 which is equal to pi star or multiplied by the matrix a so this will generate all the points of the ellipse what is delta theta what is delta theta delta theta we know that it is theta i plus 1 minus theta I. but what is the actual value of delta theta when we solve problems it will be the total angle so what was the total angle when i was looking at an ellipse the total angle was 2 by how many points you want to generate you want to generate n points so this is the formula if the ellipse is closed in next problems in problems we'll see that we want to generate only points in the first arc some say some five points in the first arc in this case the value of delta theta will be how much the total angle what is the total angle which is the maximum angle minus the minimum angle right which i'm calling it theta max by theta min and this i will divide by what n minus one because i'll have only four segments one two three four so that will give you divided by n minus one so this formula will be used if you are working for a problem on open arc of an ellipse okay or or one elliptical open arc okay so this method is now i suppose clear to you now let us move on to one simple problem so let me write a question we will generate eight uniformly spaced points on ellipse given by x square upon 16 plus y square upon 1 equal to one solution so here 
clearly x square upon a square and y square upon b square so here a is 4 and b is 1 because a square is 16 right how many points you want to generate you want to generate eight uniformly spaced points on the complete ellipse so what is the value of delta theta the value of delta theta is the total angle is 2 pi divided by 8 which is pi by 4 correct and what is the formula of generating the points the formula of generating the points is xi plus 1 yi plus 1 is equal to xi yi into cos delta theta which is cos pi by 4 then next is b upon a sine delta theta what is b upon a b upon a is 1 upon 4 sine pi by 4 then minus a upon b minus 4 sine pi by 4 and cos pi by 4 so this matrix a turns out to be how much let me write the matrix here when you put the values in the calculator in the radians mode, you will get A will be equal to how much? This A will be 0 0.7071, 0 0.7071. Here you will have one, 0 0.1767 and minus 2.8284. So this will be your matrix A. Okay. And this will be your PI. And multiplied by this and this will be pi plus 1 okay so what is the first point of our ellipse we know that the ellipse is uh, of what the ellipse is equation x square upon 16 so you will have your minus 4 0 and here you will have 4 0 and y square upon 1 so it will be 0 1 here and 0 1 here so this is something the ellipse is looking so this point will be the first point of my ellipse so what is the value of p1 p1 i'm going to use 4 and 0 using this p1 i am generate p2y formula by this up formula p1 is equal p2 is equal to p1 star matrix a and so on till p8 correct which will be p7 multiplied by matrix a now we will go into scilab and then GeoGebra and plot all these points. So here the matrix A is equal to first row is 0 0.7071, 0 0.1767. The second row is minus 2.8284 and 0 0.7071. So it's a matrix A. So the point P1 that we have chosen is 4, comma 0. The second point accordingly P2 will be equal to P1 star A, which is 2.8284 and 0 0.7068. P3 is equal to P2 star A. So we get the third point. P4 is equal to P3 star A. We get the fourth point. Then fifth point is P5 is equal to P4 star A. Sorry. Then sixth point is P6 is equal to P5 star A and p7 is p6 star a so this is the seventh point generated and p8 is equal to p7 star a so these are the eight points i will write them in the form of a matrix so that we can write see them together p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 and p7 p8 so these are the eight points generated on the ellipse now we will see these points on in geogebra eight points are four comma zero the next point is uh, two point eight two eight four comma zero point seven zero six eight the next point is zero point zero 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 eight comma 0 0.9995 the next point is see you can see the points are getting generated in an ellipse minus 2.8265 comma 0 
the next point is minus 3 com point 9981 comma 0 0.0004 the sixth point is minus 2.8282 comma minus 0 0.7061 Seventh point is minus 0 0.0025 with a minus 0 0.9990. The last point is 2.8240 comma minus 0 0.7069. So these are the eight points that are generated and they were corresponding to which ellipse. So let me type the ellipse here x square divided by 16 plus y square divided by 1 is equal to 1. So you see these are the 8 points on the ellipse. Okay, now we will obtain 3 equispaced points on the ellipse x square upon 16 plus y square upon 9 equal to 1 in the third quadrant. Now as you see for this ellipse uh, is 4 and b is 3 so accordingly the ellipse will look like this 4 here minus 4 and 4 3 and minus 3 so i'm going to draw that ellipse okay and we are supposed to look in which part we are supposed to concentrate on the third quadrant okay so what is uh, the maximum angle that we have so the complete angle is 90 degrees so what is delta theta that the complete angle is pi by 2 divided by how many points we're supposed to generate we're supposed to generate three points right so n is 3. Since it is an open arc, we are going to write n minus 1 for open arcs. So this will be pi by 2 divided by 2. So delta theta comes out to be pi by 4. So the first point, if you go in anticlockwise, the first point P1 will be this. The second point P2 will be here. And the third point P3 will be here as you can see the first point p1 itself is given by minus 4 comma 0 second point we want to find actually okay and third point you can see directly is coming to be 0 minus 3 itself so for second point we have to write the matrix a which is cos delta theta then b upon a sine delta theta we have values of a b sin and delta theta everything is ready with this minus a upon b sine delta theta and cos delta theta okay when i put those values i will get matrix a equal to 0.7071 then 0.5303 then minus 0.9428 and 0.7071 okay so this is a and this a will give us what this a will give us p2 which is p1 star a and p3 which is p2 star a now we will go in scilab and generate these three points and then in geogebra we will plot the points so in this problem a is equal to the first row is 0 0.7071 and 0 0.5303 the second row is minus 0 0.9428 and 0 0.7071 so this is matrix a the first point as an initial point that we have chosen is minus 4 comma 0 the second point will be accordingly p1 star a so this is minus 2.82 and minus 2.212 and uh, p3 is equal to p2 star a so it is minus 0 0.00 and minus 2.99 now let us go in geogebra and plot the three points and this these three points should lie in the third quadrant of the ellipse as mentioned in the problem now we will plot those three points here so the first point was minus 40 
the second point was minus 2.8284 comma minus 2.1212 the third point was 0 comma minus 3 it was almost 0 so i'm just writing 0 comma minus 3 so you see the three points are generated and they were corresponding to the ellipse x square upon uh, 16 plus y square upon nine is equal to one so you see this is the ellipse so the three points are exactly in the third quadrant as mentioned in the problem okay so in this problem we are going to obtain four equispaced points on the ellipse x plus two whole square upon four plus y minus one whole square upon nine equal to one and which is inclined by an angle of 30 degrees with respect to the positive x-axis okay now what we will do for such types of problems is first we will look at the uh, ellipse which is about the point uh, zero zero i mean i'm going to consider which ellipse I'm going to consider in this problem, I'm going to consider the ellipse x square upon 4 plus y square upon 9 equal to 1. And I'm going to I'm going to first generate four equispaced points about this ellipse. Okay, and then I will look at how do I get the x plus 2 and y minus 1 factor inside it. And then the, the inclination factor will also come into the picture. Okay. So first let us generate the four equispaced points for this particular ellipse. Now we know that this ellipse is something like this, okay, which is, uh, this is the, this two and this is nine, this is three, sorry. So this is the point here is two comma zero, right? And so what is the and what is the angle of rotation that I'm going to use? I'm going to use the angle of rotation is 90 degrees. Okay. So here my first point will be 2 comma 0. Right. And when I use the rotation matrix for this ellipse thing, you know what is your value of A? Here A is 2 and B is 3. Correct. And when I obtain all those things, so let me write the matrix also. The matrix A will be cos delta theta sine B upon A sine delta theta, then A upon B with a minus sine delta theta, and cos delta theta. What is delta theta? Here we clearly see that delta theta is pi by 2. Correct. And this P1 will give you P2, which is P1 star A, and so on. I will get till P4 is P3 star A using this particular A. And this, what is A here? Let me write in particular what is matrix A. Matrix A is 0, 1.5, then minus 0 0.66. I'm substituting all the values and getting these numbers, okay? Then I'm getting a zero. Now, if you clearly look in the picture, when I generate the four points on this particular ellipse, can you uh, guess what is it? So this will be your P1. This point is zero three, which will be your P2. The third point will be P3, which is minus two zero, and P4 will be this. So P4 will be zero comma minus three okay we will once go into scilab and then geogebra and plot these four points okay so after plotting those four points on the ellipse we have uh, we have to rotate the entire ellipse by 30 degrees so we know that the rotation matrix for 30 degrees i'm going to use a three by three matrix here okay which is cos 30 sin 30 minus sin 30 and cos 30 so here i will get 0 0 1 0 0 1 okay so this will be my rotation matrix then i will rotate the ellipse and after rotating i have to 
translate the ellipse at so where should the origin be translated to we know that after rotating the entire ellipse i have to translate the ellipse here at the point what minus 2 1 because what is the equation of ellipse equation is x plus 2 whole square upon 4 and a plus y, y minus 1 whole square upon 9 is equal to 1 so i have to translate it about minus 2 comma 1 so what is the translation matrix if i want to translate the entire object so that will have your minus 2 and 1 here and then I will then add it's 1 1 1 in the diagonal and 0 elsewhere so this is the translation matrix okay so we will finally the xf the final image will be what I will take the object then I will rotate it which is t1 and then I will translate it so this will give me the final xf now we will go into scilab and GeoGebra and switch accordingly and do this entire process that I have shown you here and get the final four points on the ellipse we are going to find these four points okay let us go in GeoGebra so A matrix here is 0 1.5 then minus 0 0.666 and zero so this is matrix a the point one of ellipse that we have chosen is two comma zero two comma zero then point two is p1 star a so that is zero three third point is in this uh, third point is p2 star a is minus 1.998 and zero and p4 is p3 star a so these are the four points of the ellipse so if i write that in the matrix x i will get p1 p2 p3 and p4 so these are the four points on the tele so if i want to write the homogeneous coordinates i will write x is equal to p1 p2 P3, P4. So I will get the homogeneous coordinates matrix X to be like this. When we rotate the ellipse by an angle 30 degrees, the rotation matrix T1 that I'm going to use comes up to be 0 0.8660, 0 0.50, minus 0 0.5, 0 0.8660, and 0 and last row is 0 0 1 so this is the rotation matrix rotates the ellipse by 30 degrees ellipse given to us is x square upon 2 sorry x square upon 4 plus y square upon 9 is equal to 1 so this is the ellipse I will I have to rotate this ellipse so I what I will do is I will first change the color of this ellipse I will make this to be light so this will be the original ellipse now if we make it a little bit dark also otherwise so this is the original ellipse now I am going to rotate the ellipse by 30 degrees so i will go here and i will say rotate about the point so when i go for rotate about the point here i will select the object that is to be rotated is this and uh, about this point i'm supposed to rotate so that point i must label so i want to rotate the point about origin so let me insert the origin over there so this is origin now let me go for rotating about the point so in the more options you will find rotate about the point i've selected the ellipse and i've selected the point it will ask me what is the angle of rotation so the angle of rotation must be 30 degrees and counterclockwise so the ellipse is rotated like this. now this make it a little bit uh, of this type and let me change its color 
to something say red so yes so this is the rotated ellipse now now after this now what i want to do is i want to translate so what is the translation matrix so let us go in the matrix area so we want to shift the ellipse to the point with center minus 2 1 right the center of that shifting is minus 2 1 so i will write the translation matrix t2 which will shift origin to minus 2 1 so what will be that translation matrix it will be 1 0 0 0 1 0 and last you have the translation coordinate which is minus 2 1 and 1 so this will be the translation matrix t2 now we will translate this red color ellipse so origin 0 0 will be first translated to minus 2 1 so i will draw a vector from 0 0 to minus 2 1 so 0 0 to minus 2 1 so i have drawn this particular vector okay now i want to translate this origin along this vector so i will use the more more, more options and here you have translate by vector so in when you click translate by vector it will say select the object to translate and then the vector so which object i want to translate i want to translate this ellipse and then the vector so the origin will the, the vector from origin to b a to b so i will select that vector so you see that this ellipse has been translated to this particular uh, point so this is that ellipse the equation of the translated ellipse you can see here you can see this is the equation of the translated ellipse okay it's very big so we are not interested in that so we will look at i will just change the color of this and the line style i will make this uh, let me change the color to say some blue color so this is the original ellipse that we are interested in okay so if you now recall the original object was x which was the points on the original ellipse then t1 was the rotation matrix so let me show you what is t1 again t1 is this rotation matrix and t2 is the translation matrix so the output the final output let me say it is xf the final output will be what x then rotation t1 and then finally rotation uh, the translation by the matrix t2 so this will be the final matrix minus 0 0.2682 minus 3.5 3.5 minus 3.7 0 0.001 and 0 0.5 and minus 1.5 so now these coordinates we will plot in our new blue colored ellipse and let us see if these points are seen on the ellipse of blue color exactly so let us type those four points so the first point was zero minus zero point two six eight comma two see the first point is here you can see in the diagram it is labeled as c the next point is minus three point five comma three point five nine eight which is the second point is d third point is minus 3.730 comma 0 0.001 the third point which is e and the last point is minus 0 0.501 comma minus 1.595 so these are the four points which are on the ellipse the ellipse was x plus 2 whole square upon 4 plus y minus 1 whole square upon 9 equal to 1 inclined by the angle 
30 degrees with respect to x axis so this is that these are the four points c d e and f